Hey guys, what's up? Carter here. Let's take a closer look at this Yojimbo 2, shall we? First off, I mentioned in the previous video that this is a design by Michael Janik, or Janich? I think it's Janik. He is a knife fighting extraordinaire. Um, you can see here I've actually got a book by him, Knife Fighting Practical Course, Michael D. Janik. And it's, you know, it's pretty interesting. I, I kind of got into knife fighting for a minute and then got out of it. But uh, really cool techniques. He kind of breaks everything down by quadrants. So that the idea being that all you need to know is what quadrant the attack is coming in. And then you can just instinctively know how to handle that. It's kind of the, uh, the theory behind it. <laughs> and here's a, a DVD that he did, similar similar practices. It's kind of old. It's, it's funny to, to hear him talk about how to open a knife and stuff like that. And uh, But, uh, yeah, pretty interesting. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll just show him. <laughs> there he is right there. He's got that uh, nice red, red blonde mustache, bald head, glasses, and the uh, 50 mile stare right there. But uh, very, you know, there's there's informative stuff in there. Uh, but anyways, on to the knife. Uh, first off, I love this thing. This is just a wicked, wicked blade. I mean, when I hold this in my hand, I just think of brutality. I mean, it just it looks like a giant straight razor, and it fits in your hand so good. I mean, you can definitely tell that this was designed primarily for self-defense knife fighting type applications, uh, but obviously it can be used for pretty much any application. So I don't have my ruler here, but uh, overall length is about 7.5 inches, just over I think 3.2 something blade length. I was a little worried it was going to be too small, but uh, as you can see it just fits my hand like a glove and your thumb just goes right, feels right at home up here just feels really really good s30 v steel nice thick stock g10 scales as you can see pocket clip left hand right hand tip up tip down compression lock i heard some people complain that um, it can pinch them and i could kind of see how uh, if i put my finger like a specific way sometimes it'll kind of pinch it and what happens is when you're opening it if you've got some some meat kind of in there. There's a there's a notch cut out here, but there's a little overlap period where that tab actually kind of hits that, and I could see how that would uh, potentially pinch you. I haven't really had that problem, and I think it's just due to the way I open it. See how I'm not really... There's a little bit of a gap when I open it. You know, I don't, I don't have my hand wrapped right around that area so I don't have that problem but uh, just keep that in mind hollow ground blade really good slicer gets really sharp as you saw before thin tip plenty of uh, cutting surface on this Warncliffe blade here just this thing is just a monster it's a beast I don't know why, but for some reason, yeah, it just kind of makes me think of a prison yard death tool, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, the spider hole is a little smaller than some of the newer ones. Once you get used to it, though, it's fine. You know, I can get my thumb in there pretty good. I can open it that way as well. Well, there we go. This thing is smooth as glass. I mean, it just... So smooth and yet rock solid left right up down does not budge really really like this blade I don't know why I did that I can never do that I, I can't do the upside down one if anyone has a tutorial on how to do that correctly I kind of did it there but that's just because it's so easy to open you know I, I can't get a good flick really but uh, yeah you know other than that it uses a standard Spider core, spider, spider co. Why do I want to say spider core? Spider co, hardcore spider core. Um, standard pocket clip and you know all that stuff. It rides, 
you know, there's there's quite a bit sticking out, but it's still pretty low profile. I like it. Gives me something to uh, grab onto when I pull it out. But all in all, definitely a winner here for uh, Spider Co. I really like this. Really, really like this blade. I definitely recommend picking one up if you can find one at a reasonable price. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Got that, you know, kind of dry cough type thing. I hate that. But uh, yeah, I think uh, retail price is like a hundred bucks, but because they're so high demand and production hasn't met that demand, secondary prices have you know gone up to crazy numbers. Uh, but as soon as they kind of come back down, I definitely recommend picking one up. Really good, excellent detent. Love that compression lock. This one actually locks up a little further than my Para 2, but it's still early. And my Para 2, I flick that thing open so much and you know it really hasn't even moved very much since I got it like maybe a millimeter millimeter and a half something like that just excellent stuff alright guys I'm done talking about the sweet blade really cool stuff take it easy guys